Alrighty, so we're gonna set the traps to try and catch the coons, possum, skunk, whatever. Um, although we know there are some coons, but we may catch some of the other stuff that was in there. I'm trying to eat the eggs. So my go-to is just sardines. It doesn't matter if they're just regular sardines, if they're in hot sauce, mustard, whatever. So I'm just using these beach cliff sardines and they're in a mustard sauce. So maybe that way they would smell it better. And each of these traps have their own individual cans that we would put stuff in for trapping season. And before any of you guys go and comment, oh, it's illegal, you can't do that. Um, not regularly, you wouldn't be able to. But since they're a nuisance, since they're eating the cat food, since they're eating the chickens, the chicken eggs, it's legal to do this as a nuisance to try and get rid of them because they're tearing everything up. So I'm just gonna set one of these on camera and I'll show you guys me putting the rest out. So anyways, I'm just gonna open up the trap. See, there's a little can. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, the raccoon will eat that for sure. I'm just gonna put that, maybe get a little bit of that. A little bit of that mustard sauce in there. Yep, definitely mustard. It's hard to do this with nasty fingers. All right, so what's gonna happen? Uh, I'll just give you guys a little trout run. What'll happen? Let me find me a stick. Actually, no, I won't. All right, so the coon comes in here, walks in the trout, and so he'll go through here, and he'll see the can with our sardines in it. So he's gonna get onto this thing to try and get a better look. And that's gonna trap him in there. And it's gonna keep him alive. It's not gonna kill him or break his foot or whatever. So that way in case we do accidentally catch a cat, it's not gonna hurt the cat at all. This won't hurt anything. And then in the morning, we are going to check all of our traps to see if we catch anything because well, that's not really a good sign. Um, yeah, anyways, we are going to check our traps in the morning because raccoons and other possums and other animals are nocturnal, so they usually will attack whatever during night. So that's whenever they're up is night. So that's whenever they're gonna be doing all this stuff. So I'll set these traps out here. And yeah, um, either I almost guarantee you we'll get something, whether we get in a trap or like I've said, they've been coming up to the porch. So might just have to shoot them off the porch. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of where we put the traps. We set up four in total, use the whole sardine can, there's nothing left. Put one here, outside of the coop, where it could have been going in through the coop in here. I mean, it's not really a big surprise that they got eaten, because they were pretty range, but still, with the cats and the cat food, we don't want to, we want to get rid of them if we can, because they don't, they don't need to be here anymore. They're doing us no good. Alrighty, then we got three traps inside here. Um, this is the second trap that we set. This one. Right here you guys 
can see it. Um, that was basically where I found the wing and the feet. So where a couple of them have been killed right here, or drugging out at least right here. So we got a trap there. And then, well, you guys just go ahead and see the coop. It's, it's in that little door and, and to the right a little bit. That's basically the center of the coop. So yeah, either late tonight or tomorrow morning, I don't know yet, maybe both. We'll come and check these traps and see if we've got any little critters. Hopefully not cats. So yeah. All right, so I came out here to check the traps. As you guys can tell, I moved them a little bit because we found out that they were living over here. So I moved the traps. And like I said before, this is completely legal since they're a nuisance. They're eating the chickens. They're eating all the cat food. They're getting in the dumpster. So this is completely legal. So I'm going to take them out and then I'll show you guys after. Hey guys, you just saw me catch this coon in the trap. Um, I dispatched him. I'm going to show you this side of him. He's not as bloody, not as nasty. But, uh, look at them teeth. I guarantee you he's the one I'm eating the chickens. Dude, we got him out of the way, though. I already checked. He's a male. So, at least he's not going to go run off and make more babies. So, last night, right off the porch... There was a coon eating cat food. It was a little bigger than this one. So I got the pellet gun and I went out there. Ran up a tree and there's two of them up the tree. But I didn't shoot them. But yeah, we got this one in the trap. And we had another one. It didn't set off the trap, but threw our little container of food out. After we got all the food out of it. So yeah, hopefully we can catch some more. Because we know there's at least... Probably two or three more, but it's good we got this guy out of the way. Um, Alrighty, so I just shot the big coon. You guys just saw that I just caught the, the other one, and it was probably the dad. And this is probably the mom, and she was big. She came up right in front of the porch, she grabbed my pellet gun. I shot her, but I couldn't really see what was her head because it was all just blurred since she was so close. So I just shot. She got up and started walking away. We found a good blood trail right as she got in the shed. So it comes up here and then she gets up here and you can see she's really starting to bleed now. And then she probably went into seed cleaner or whatever so like I told Mitchell I said well usually with deer when this happens it's a long shot so probably just give her two till tomorrow to go check on her because if she's still alive she's gonna be angry and I don't want to deal with an angry raccoon so and I also just chased a possum and shot it right in the head it started bleeding went down a pipe so in the morning we got two things to look for and check the traps so hopefully we got them so i'll catch you guys up in the so morning. as you can see we've got a possum in the trap um i'm gonna show you just a little bit it's kind of bloody you see that little hole right there i actually shot him in the head last night he didn't die he came up here and got caught in a trap so we're gonna finish him off and I think we have one other animal in the trap. Then we gotta go track the other coon, so should be pretty busy. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of this guy. I'll show you guys after. Then we're gonna go check the other traps. Guys, this yep. is another trap. We've got a coon. It's not huge. It's not tiny, but it'll still wreak havoc. So we wanna try and get him out. So we're gonna go take them to a place that, because we're, up, we're right by Grain Bin, Grain Bin's buildings, Grain Bin's. We don't want it to ricochet, come back and hit us or 
So we're just gonna take him out in the open and take care of him and then I'll show you guys both of the animals after we dis dis uh, dispatch him. Last night you guys saw that we shot this coon and there was a blood trail. So today we are going to follow that blood trail and try and see where this coon went. This is the last place I see it. Oh no, never mind. More thin. And it goes up. And it keeps. Now it's starting to get thin. There's some. There's some. Okay, now it's starting to get a little better. Yeah, there's quite a bit. There's a paw print or part of one. I was coming back here. Is it? Yeah. Some more blood. It went through this ladder. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it's starting to bleed. Some blood on these things. Any more? I don't. Well, this is another place where they got a hold of some chickens, some feathers, oh, and a yeah. foot. Well, then again, that's the coop right there. So go ahead and follow that blood. Well, the last place I see it was right there. Let's get out of the way. I might. Oh, that would be trumping on my soul. Oh, yeah. But... Yeah, up there. And then. Right there, yeah. Right there. Okay. Well, we'll try and find a blood trail and find the animal because we kind of lost the blood trail, so I'll catch you guys up. But as you guys can see, I got the um, possum and the coon taken care of. The coon's not that bad. The possum's a little bloody up by the ear. Yeah, screw it. Um, so there's the possum, there's the coon. They're both males. That's a pretty big, uh, pretty decent sized possum. That's pretty. And yeah, it's a little coon. It wasn't, it wasn't a baby, but it wasn't an adult yet. So, so I, you guys just saw me trying to track that coon that we got the blood trail off of. And I just found a little bit more blood, like barely any. And it led to outside of that building. And then I looked all around there, I couldn't see any more blood. So I'm thinking I just hit it somewhere where it just bled a little bit and it's fine. Because, you know, if it's in that building, it would have curled up and died. But it kept on running. I looked outside of the building everywhere, couldn't see any blood, so, I don't know, we might try and catch that one, or we might have just scared it off, so this might be the end of the video, it might not, I'll just give it a couple more days to see if I can catch the other coon, so yeah. Don't mind the noise in the background, that's just the grain bins, but you guys just saw me either tracking for this coon, we're gonna go, or dealing with the other two things in the traps. But this is the mom that I shot last night that we was tracking. She climbed into the dumpster, and the dumpster is empty, so there's no way she could get out. So I put, put a pretty good shot on her. She died, so we'll leave the traps out still a couple nights. But more than likely, I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Because we only saw three coons. We got the dad, the mom, and the little one. And a possum. So like I said, we'll still leave the traps out for a little bit. But I didn't know if we were going to get her or not. Since we were tracking. And she kind of just stopped bleeding. 
But then my dad called me and said, you know there's a coon in the dumpster. I said, nope. So I got pellet gun and I shot her. Uh, so yeah, this might be the end of the video. It just depends on if we catch anything else or not, but I don't know that we will since this is really all that we've been seeing. So hopefully now, if we were to get more chickens, nothing will kill them. So yeah. Okay, so it's the next morning from when you saw us. We killed the uh, two coons and the possum, and we caught two little ones. Instead of killing these guys, we're gonna relocate them. So maybe we can come over here during trapping season and get them. So yeah, we're just gonna release them. guys that is going to conclude today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching and in a span of about three days having all this trap set out where we wanted to we got five raccoons and a possum so we took care of that problem real quick so in case you guys are having trouble stuff's killing your chickens or getting and your cat food or just messing stuff up around your property chances are it's possibly raccoons and like i said it was totally legal they're a nuisance they're killing our chickens messing up stuff so we could have legally killed them or relocated them just so you guys know we didn't go and drop them off on somebody else's property we dropped them off on one of our farms so yeah so we took care of that so now we can get chickens but i think we're gonna wait a little while before we get chickens so just remember as always, have a great day and God bless.